here so today I am back with a hair tutorial and this is a start to finish hair tutorial I will be showing you guys me washing my hair to style in it and to getting this finished product that I have here right now so yes I'm just gonna talk to you guys really briefly about the products that I did use in this video now I use the products from Natrez if you guys remember a long time ago I reviewed their product line they are black owned business if you guys are unfamiliar I will link the video in the description box that I did before but they actually did rebrand so they have new branding and their um, labels and stuff are different everything looks really good so I'm just gonna briefly I'll talk about a few of the products but I am gonna get more in depth with the products as the video goes on while I'm using them on my hair so you guys can actually see what's going on with them and how they work but I did want to make a few comments about a few of them. So this is the Styling Moisturizer from Natraz. And it does have black Jamaican castor oil, which is really good. Um, the thing I really like about the Natraz products, is they're multifunctional. So you can use them for more than one thing. This is a Styling Moisturizer, but you can also use this on your scalp as well, which I think is really, really cool. And it nourishes um, conditions and gives your hair its volume, which is really nice. And it is for all hair types and you can definitely use it on natural dry color thinning and transitioning transitioning hair but I really do like this now the thing I like about it most is that with the new formula that they have is really it's, it's a lot thicker the old formula was a little bit loose like more like an oil but this is not super thick you guys will see in the video but it's like a happy medium and I really do like that about this product so yes, I am really impressed with the Style and Moisturizer and I believe I was really impressed with it before. Also, I wanted to touch base um, really briefly about the Natras Curl Defining Cream with Shea Butter. So um, this is the Curl Defining Cream and they also seem to have added like new products within the actual product which I think is really cool. And all of the products are paraben free. I just want to let you guys know that they're paraben free. They have no sulfates, no dry alcohol, no petroleum, no dyes, no mineral oil, no silicones. They are 100% vegan. So if you are looking for a product line that is 100% vegan, this is the product line for you, okay? But um, before, they definitely did revamp the Curl Defining Cream because before it came in a jar. And the formula is a bit different. And I honestly do like this formula a lot better. The other formula was a little bit slippery. I did like it, but I do like this one a lot better. It's a little bit thicker, which I prefer to use on my hair when I'm doing twist out, flat twist outs and two strand twists and things like that. So yes, I definitely do like this. The only thing about this, which I totally forgot and I remember from the past, you cannot be heavy handed with this product because if you get a little bit too heavy handed you will experience some flaking so with this style that I just did I did experience some flaking unfortunately I did get a bit heavy handed and I get like that with a lot of products and you guys if you're not familiar with a lot of natural hair products especially when it comes to twisting and styling defining creams and things like that you definitely cannot be heavy handed you have to apply just a little bit and I know that so I don't know what I was thinking I guess I got excited about the new products and the, the packaging and everything that I just went a little bit overboard but um, that was the only thing is that it did flake up a little bit on me but if you use this product and you purchase this product maybe Make sure you just use a little bit on each section of your hair but it definitely does work and you guys are gonna see how it works in the video because the stuff works it's bomb it's really really bomb but I definitely just wanted to touch base on these two products because these are the products that I noticed had the biggest change um since they rebranded which I think is really dope I know you guys don't want to hear me ramble and talk <laughs> but yes all of the products that are shown in this video will be linked in the description box below so be sure to check there make sure you guys um, check out naturals.com support the business they are a black owned business with amazing hair care products that are 100% vegan you can't say that about a lot of product lines nowadays because they put so much stuff into the products that we don't even know if the labels are reading correctly but this is a really 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 good product line guys and I encourage you guys to go ahead and check it out without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into the hair tutorial all right so my hair has been blown out for about five days it's starting to revert back so I'm just gonna start by sectioning it off into four sections using my wide tooth 
comb and some clips. All right, and once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Natras 3-in-1 Conditioning Shampoo. But first, before applying that, I am gonna use a spray bottle and wet that section of my hair, get it nice and saturated. I do have a little porosity hair, so it takes a minute for moisture to get into my hair strands, so that's just what I'm doing here. I like that the Natras products come sealed because you don't see that a lot anymore with products. And this is what the 3-in-1 shampoo looks like. It's slippery like a conditioner, but it is a shampoo as well. So it's a mixture between a shampoo and a conditioner. So yeah, it's really, really nice. It feels so good against the hair. It's nice and slippery. And as you guys can see, there's no salt face in it. That's why it's not foaming up. But it really gets your scalp so clean, guys. I kid you not. Like, my hair was so clean and it felt so good. And it smells really good. It has, like, lavender and aloe in it. And as you guys can see, it does have a lot of slip because I actually can detangle my hair with my shower comb. And it is sliding right through my strands. I only shampoo my hair once because my hair wasn't that dirty. And I'm just taking this t-shirt and I'm going to go ahead and pat dry my hair. My scalp felt really good and tingly after washing my hair, guys. I just love that feeling because it felt so clean. My hair was also really moisturized as well, especially after you pat the water out. It feels so good. I'm going to take the Natras Rehydrating Mist Detangler. And I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over my hair. Now this is a detangler but it also acts as a leave-in. So that's what I'm going to be using it for because my hair is already detangled. I detangled it in the shower. And this leave-in is super lightweight guys. And I really like that about it. And to seal in the moisture I'm going to apply the Natural Styling Moisturizer. And this is what it looks like. It's like a thicker oil which I really like. You can use it all over your hair and on your scalp. It's good for hair growth and also moisturizing. And it's not too heavy heavy and that's what I like because I have fine hair and I don't like products that weigh my hair down so it works great. So now I'm just taking my red tail comb and I'm just going to make a part on the side of my head because I'm going to be doing a flat twist out basically. I'm doing my flat twist this way because I find that I get more definition so I'm just going to part another section across the top of my head and then I'm just going to start my first flat twist there. So to achieve this flat twist I'm going to be using the Natras Curl Defining Cream and it looks like this. It's like a slippery consistency. It's not too thick but it has a lot of slip to it which I really like but it is thick enough to where it's not watery so I'm just going to apply that at the front of my hair like so. Detangle and then I'm going to start twisting. Defining Cream smells really good. It has shea butter in it so I really like that as well. But I do recommend you guys just using a small amount, like I said at the beginning of the video. Because if you use too much of like natural hair creams and things like that, you can get flaking sometimes. And I did get a little bit of flaking, but it's not too noticeable. But just don't get too heavy handed. And especially if you have fine hair like mine, that's really the problem. With fine hair, you can't get heavy handed with products because it would just be a disaster for you. So yeah, use a light hand when using the product. But guys, this product is amazing. So this is how my flat twists came out. They came out really nicely. And I have to be honest, guys, I was really skeptical about this. Because I typically slip with my flat twists in overnight. But I did this style in one day. Like within like maybe less than six hours. So yeah. Um, so I'm just going to apply my silk scarf. And I'm just basically going to leave it on for about, I think I left it on like three hours or whatever. So I did do this style like in the morning. And so yeah. It was almost time for me to take the twist out. My hair was still a little wet in the back. So I sat under my hooded dryer for like 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the Silent Moisturizer to my fingertips. And then I'm going to just take down the flat twist. This is going to help eliminate frizz. And so I can see how much definition that I can get. My hair is pretty hard to define. So yeah, and especially with flat twists. That's why I was saying I took a risk. But as you guys can see, I actually have definition. Can you believe it? I can believe it. That product is amazing because flat twists are hit or miss on my hair. But anyway, so yeah, as you guys can see, I kind of flipped out my roots a bit. And then I decided to do a puff and a bang. So I'm just applying some gel to my edges. And so I'm going to go ahead and slick my hair up using my brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my elastic band once I'm done brushing. And I'm going to put it around the clip that I clipped my bang back with so it will be out of the way. And then I'm going to kind of pull it 
back into a puff so I'm kind of doing like a little back puff and then I'm taking my pick picking out the bang and picking out the puff to give it some more fullness then this is optional but I did lay down my baby hairs with my hair toothbrush and this is how my hair turned out it turned out really good I really do like the definition that I got considering I did this style in one day which I normally never do the natural products have my hair so moisturized the luster of my hair is so beautiful and shiny I love it all the natural products will be linked in the description box below be sure to check them out but I hope you all enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next one Bye.